Hello everyone, this is Ritika. I'm working as a customer support engineer in Wendy. Uh, today, I'll be taking you through a small video to show firmware upgrade procedure for uh, 3G and 4G devices. So, uh, this is the agenda. Uh, we will be seeing how to download 3G, 4G firmware from CCO. We will be seeing steps to upgrade 3G firmware, steps to upgrade 4G firmware, and I'll show you uh, one 4G upgrade procedure in lab. So first, we need to download firmware from Cisco official website. So these are the steps you need to follow to uh, download firmware from uh, Cisco website. This is Cisco official website. We need to go to support, all downloads. Here, we need to select Cisco interfaces and modules. Now high speed WAN interface cards. So these are the uh, different cards that we use with 3G 4G devices. We can use whatever card we have. Selected one 4G LTE EHWIC card for Europe. So these are the uh, different version available for uh, this specific card. So uh, firmware is uh, actually, uh, we need to select as per our modem, whatever we are using. So if we have 7710 modem, so this is, uh, this would be the latest firmware that is 3.5.29.2 for now. There are different firmware, like for if you have modem 7304, so you can use this uh, firmware uh, for your device. Now we will see steps to upgrade 3G firmware. So first thing that you need to do is you need to download firmware file from CCO in tar format. You just have to check the extension. If it is .tar then uh, this is the correct file and we can use it for uh, upgrading our device. First thing that you need to do is you need to use this command to, to untar the file. That is archive tar extract source URL destination URL. Source URL will be the TFTP location. Uh, for example, like I've downloaded the file from CCO and then copied it to TFTP. So that would be your source URL and destination URL will be the router flash from where we will be upgrading uh, this modem. After entering, next step is to upgrade our modem. So the command to upgrade modem in 3G device is microcode reload cellular PA bay slot GSM modem provision. PA bay is uh, uh, usually zero for HWIC cards. Slot is the slot where your HWIC card is placed. After entering, uh, you need to make sure like uh, when this upgrade procedure is going on, uh, you are not disconnecting uh, the power from your device or uh, you are not uh, switching off your router. Otherwise, it could cause uh, a permanent damage to modem. Now, we will see steps to upgrade 4G firmware. So the prerequisite uh, would be your iOS should be 15.24 M3 or later version. Then uh, the second thing that we will be doing is we will be downloading our firmware from CCO website. Uh, like 3G, we have uh, our firmware available in TAR format. In 4G, we have uh, firmware available in CWE format. So after downloading, you can just check if extension is .CWE, then you can proceed further uh, in upgrading firmware. So you can enable login console by doing a term on just to check the logs, whatever is happening. Second thing that you will be doing is you will uh, initiate firmware upgrade procedure by command microcode reload cellular 01 modem provision flash and the file name. File name would be in CWE extension. After entering this, uh, it will take around 5 to 10 minutes. Uh, it will depend on different devices. After initiating the firmware upgrade process, process, you will verify the upgrade process by uh, issuing commands show cellular zero hardware. So you will see if your uh, uh, hard, uh, firmware is upgraded. After that, you can perform a reload of device to complete the firmware upgrade procedure. Now I will show uh, the same process in lab. This is my 4G device. We have modem uh, MC7710. We will check if version is greater than 15.2. Yes, it is. 
So I have downloaded a firmware for this specific uh, model and I have copied in TFTP. Now I'll show you how to copy it from TFTP to our router flash. So the command is simple. We have to give copy TFTP flash. We will give file name. So this is the latest firmware for uh, this modem. Now we need to give uh, address of TFTP location. Enter. Source file name would be same. Destination file name would be same. Now it will take some two minutes to get the file from TFTP to router flash. Okay, so now it says a uh, file is copied from uh, TFTP to flash. We can check it. So this is the file that we have copied. Now we can check the current version of uh, modem that we have now. So it is 3.5.24, we will be upgrading it to 3.5.29. So now we will upgrade our modem. For that we need to use command microcode reload cellular 00, zero modem provision flash. We have to copy this file name here. Now enter. It is asking reload microcode. Yes. Confirm. Now this procedure will take around uh, 5 to 10 minutes. So now we can see firmware upgrade has completed successfully. In case uh, this process is not completed, it will show as failed. So here we can say it is uh, completed successfully and also cellular is up. So now we can verify. Okay, so now we have this uh, firmware in our uh, cellular zero hardware. To complete this procedure, we need to give command reload. Yes. Okay, so my router is uh, rebooted successfully. Now we can verify by issuing command cellular zero hardware if we have new firmware in our device. Yes, so now it is upgraded to 3529. So that's all for the day. Thank you.